remember chat LLM, it's a great way for you to access multiple state-of-the-art large language models in one platform. This is an all-in-one AI assistant with many capabilities. Now, just recently, they came out with a big new update where they are introducing a couple of things. So let's first take a look at the artifacts update. This is something that is accessible through the playground of chat LM. The term artifacts came from Anthropic's new release of their Sonnet 3.5 model. During this release, they introduce artifacts. Artifacts are large self-contained pieces of content that Claude shows in a separate window for easy viewing. You can basically edit, reuse, as well as configure your code as you're basically working on generating things. Basically, it enables you to visualize your generation. And with the inspiration from Anthropic's artifacts, ChatLM's team introduced their very own artifacts that enables you to visualize your AI's generation. Just take a look at this demo video which is being played right now, and it's showcasing a visual representation of a bouncing ball game being generated. The prompt that was used was create a bouncing ball game, so the ball was to basically avoid obstacles while bouncing. And you can see on the right hand side that it had showcased a visual representation of what was requested to be generated. And what that basically means is that you can access the artifacts with not just the Claude Sonic 3.5 model, but with all of these other models, which is absolutely insane. And it's something that hasn't been actually developed at this current moment in the AI space. Another new feature is the humanized feature. This is where you can basically have it so that whatever content is generated by AI can be humanized in a way within chat LM's playground. Another cool thing that was added was that you can basically refer friends and you can earn a commission off of that. Meaning that if you are to refer a friend, you can get $5 off each friend you refer. So this could become quite lucrative if you are to refer a lot of people. This is just something cool that I wanted to mention. Now there's so many other things that I want to mention and it's something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers, we have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's get straight into it. But before we even do that, I want to basically give you a brief little overview of what chat LM is. It's basically enabling anyone to access this all in one model where you can access multiple state of the art language models. For example, you can access GPT 4, GPT 4 Omni, Cloud Opus to Sonnet 3.5, you have Llama 3, Gemini Pro, as well as so many other state of the art applications. Now, why might this be important? Well, this is going to allow you to maximize different sorts of LM strengths in one particular area. You can chat with PDF seamlessly. You have a code interpreter that's built in. You have image analysis, both GPT-4 Omni and Gemini, which are multimodal models that you can analyze images. You have team collaboration. You can share conversations. You have enterprise connections where you can connect popular tools like Slack, Teams, G Drive. You also have custom chatbots and AI agents that could be created within this platform. And this is why I definitely recommend that you watch my previous video on chat LM, which will explain what the ins and outs are for this platform so that you can quickly get started. But say if you are interested in accessing this, I want you guys to click on the get started button. It's $10 per user, but it's built monthly. And the first month is actually completely for free. So you can actually get started completely for free. For the first month and you can cancel it anytime and if you do like the service you can keep it going but if not you can just test it out completely for free for one month once you create an account you'll be then sent over to this dashboard where you're going to be able to access all of these new features and access all of these models in one particular area 
For example, you can access GPT-4 Omni, generate with Sonnet 3.5, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Abacus AI's open source model, which is Smog, you have GPT-4, GPT-4 Omni Mini, as well as the custom bots that you can create. Now, this is something that I go further in detail in my previous video, where I was able to create my custom research paper chatbot. I was able to link up different types of plugins and tools to help me create this. And you can basically create various sorts of pipelines within Abacus AI's project page. So how do you get started? Well, you just simply choose or select the model that you want to work with, and you can give it a prompt. And within a couple of seconds, it will generate the code as well as the textual representation of what you want to generate. And on the right hand side, you're going to be able to access it on the playground. And you can see on the right side, there's a visualization of what was created. So you can see that this is a great way for you to easily build out applications with various large language models, not just Sonnet 3.5, but with GPT-4 Omni, with the mini model, as well as Llama 3 and so many others. Now within this example, we're basically going to create an interactive React family tree that is going to basically allow users to construct and visualize a family tree with a predefined relationship. So with the help of the model, we're going to generate the code for it. And within a couple of seconds, we're going to be able to visualize this. And the great thing with this artifact feature within Abacus AI's chat LM is that you can iterate further on this, meaning that if you do not like a certain component that was generated, you can then further edit it by saying that this component needs more work. So please focus on it further. And that way you can get better generations and see the visualizations of the changes that you make. Another cool example is where there was a creation of a simple playable 2D survival game using React as well as SVG graphics. Now the game's goal is to achieve the highest score possible by surviving as long as you can on a 10 by 10 grid based board. So the players control characters that move one cell at a time and in four different directions using arrow keys. And this was something that was built with the Sonnet model. So if I'm to click in through this video, we're going to see that it's going to generate the code for it as well as the design for it and you're going to be able to deploy it within the playground to see how it is visualized and you can see on the right hand side you have this 2d survival game that you can access and interact with now that we have the artifacts out of the way another feature i wanted to mention was the humanized feature and this is where it's basically used more for textual responses now we all know that whenever ai responds with the generation it might sound a little wonky it might not sound like a human would generate some sort of text like that which is why they introduced the humanized feature if you are to look on the bottom side you'll see that there's various sorts of things such as copying the response you can even have it so that speak it out you have the restart generation button you can then also humanize it and this was the feature that i'm going to talk about you simply click on this and you basically add additional instructions in this case make it sound more like a student and you can basically just gener regenerate it and within a couple of seconds you can see that this is a response that is way more human humanized compared to the previous response that was generated and that's about it for today's video on chat lm's new artifact feature as well as the new humanized feature this is something that i definitely recommend that you try out because it's going to enhance the way that you utilize ai as this is an all-in-one platform that is going to allow you to access all these state-of-the-art LLMs and it's going to basically help you visualize the generation of whatever you want AI to basically focus on. But I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you utilize that link so that you can access this completely for free. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can get different types of subscriptions completely for free on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news, where I'm constantly posting updates on what's happening in the AI space. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.